Lieutenant Stewart, uh, the kind of eloquent uh, introduction to Jeff Hewlett. <laughs> and while as we're here, but just, just for a moment, um, we're proud of the work we do against this. Uh, Michael searches independence, but I was there when it was created. <laughs> And I am proud of where it is now compared to, to the dream that it was seven years ago. And uh, the Cooney Center came out of a question from Mrs. Cooney. And the question was, where is the media for those children that graduate from Sesame Street? And the answer we'll talk about earlier today. And seven years ago was an issue. Today it's an issue. If we do not solve it, we'll finish it tomorrow night. Where is the media for the graduates of Sesame Street? Uh, today's really special this morning it was wonderful. But now uh, I'm reflecting on what is the possibilities for Sesame graduates? Jeff, I think you're a Sesame graduate. <coughs> Our speaker will remind every girl on the planet that if you're a Sesame graduate, you can be a, a commissioner. FCC. Uh, Thought of John Cooney some weeks ago, uh, about, about a year ago. General, what, what's your, what, let's hear one of your passions with me. She said, oh, I wish that the games that were made by the Sesame Street early had continued and been built upon and not gone away. And she said, oh, how the noise in the media space has confused children and parents. And those wannabes, look-alikes, pretends, are now denying folks the richness of that intentional media that at Sesame and others take the great responsibility of not playing with the minds of children, but only putting in front of them those images that if they follow them, if they do them, they will turn out good. That's our duty, that's our job. Um, so I had the privilege of meeting the uh, commissioner who came to visit Sesame Street. And she asked me that day, uh, so what's Sesame up to? And I'm going to share a little bit about that conversation. And I said, we see the world where all children have a voice, where all children get images that will inspire them, propel them to become the best that they can be. And I have in my head this image, this graphic of, uh, we call it the gears. The set of gear is this round thing with gear wheels, and it's a child. And as that child's world, world turns, it engages other gears. Child in the center, then there's some other gears. There's one on the right. It's content that's intentional. And the gear on the left, it's measurement of what that child is doing, what they're learning, how they're doing. And so, we believe you can get good content and give feedback about what the learning is, you can actually engage with that child in the place. But then there are two other components. There's the gear on the top. It's the parent, the family, that adult that is really caring about what that child is learning. <coughs> and on the bottom, it's the teacher, the one whose job it is to make sure it gets, something gets in the child's head. So as that child's world turns, how do these other components engage in a way that the best possible images, experiences, can be delivered to that child so that that child can grow. So we talked about it a little bit. And this morning we're going to talk about how to make those gears come together. The importance of technology. The importance of access. The importance of quality measures, quality <coughs> inputs, quality images that are just good for the child. So our commissioner, uh, one of the things that I treasure about you is your prior experience before you got to your current job of actually working in the hills, on the hill and the, the halls of Congress, learning how to deliver, how to deliver messages of truth to positions of power. Uh, when you advise such powerhouses as uh, Senator Rockefeller, instead of an inlay. Not necessarily sleepers, but on the importance of access for all, equality of privilege or opportunity, 
so that our societies, our communities, our children in particular, get enriched because they're not being denied that which is good for them. So you've had a history of learning those issues, being voiced for those who have their voice, and speaking with a voice of authority to those that can do something about it. And now as you sit, you're dealing over some of the most complex issues of our time, spectrum auctions, just uh, all, and, and tomorrow, one penny more. <laughs> Her child, all of it. We as a people, we as a nation, are privileged to have you at the helm. Because with you, and personally knowing that Grover is your guy, <laughs> we believe that the interest of our children, the interest of our community, the interest of us partnering with those who can engage in must teach, teachers, uh, communities, after school organizations, uh, creators of content, uh, owners of, of distribution pipes, all of those elements can come together so that that dear of the child can appropriately turn, turn and not be shut down because of one of them is failing. So you're here. I want to give you maximum time to share your vision and your time. We thank you for making this time available. I'm sure you could have been at home as well with, with the snow. But you're here. Uh, we're delighted to have you. The Dillon Gantz Cooney Center thanks you. We at the workshop are proud of the, all of the associations. Come on and share with us.